and welcome to a very dark and stormy Masai Mara, where we are sitting trying to decide whether or not we should drive any further in that direction. I think that's a no, Dave. <laughs> My name is Jamie. This afternoon, Dave is on camera with me, and I would like to introduce a very special addition to our team. This is Pucker. And Pucker's name means cat. Now, Pucker at the moment is all wrapped up because, as I've just mentioned, the weather is a little bit foul this afternoon. Storms rolling in. Any rain is great because it means fantastic grasses for the wildebeest as they make their way in this direction. What it means for us is, well, that we have to have all the flaps down. Just when Dave got settled and outside of a vehicle, he's now trapped inside basically a tent once again. So, Pucker... And how are we feeling about this? Paco arrived on a truck yesterday. So far, her key doesn't turn too well. And her clutch sticks. And I could never remember her name, so I kept calling her Pukey. So I think that's just my punishment for not being able to know exactly who she is. It means cat. Hopefully it brings us some cat luck. I'm still umming and aahing about this weather. There's blue skies where you can't see them, which is off that way. And I think the storm's blowing away. I think we're going to be okay for this afternoon, but we're not going to go too far just in case. Right, the other wonderful thing, I don't, I don't know, should we try driving, Dave? Yeah. Should we try driving along? Don't forget to send through your questions on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Oh, not quite as quiet as Wendy or Rusty. There we go, look, got something to show you already. Some buffalo sheltering from the wind. <laughs> Lucian, you say this... Oh, we also don't have any brakes, which is good because it's muddy, so, you know, you shouldn't be using brakes anyway. There we go. Lucian, you say this place looks so huge. Absolutely, so do the buffalo. But the sense of space that you get out here is enormous. And for us now, we travel absolutely enormous distances at times, 200, 300 kilometers easily. It takes us about three hours to get to where the migration is at the moment. Just to give you an idea of how different things are here. The buffalo, as I said, are also enormous. On average, about 200 kilograms heavier than the ones we get in the Sabi sand. And we've got a collection of Dugger boys who very much lived up to their name. What does that sound? An elephant trumpeting and sort of echoed around the mountains. Uh, Terry, you would like to know how much longer the rainy season is in the Mara. Apparently these are actually relatively late rains, which is wonderful news for this particular part of Kenya because it means that the animals have grazing. And of course, East Africa has been really struggling with rainfall. I know Tanzania has received very, very little rain. It's a very soggy buffalo. And a lot of northern Kenya as well is facing a really serious drought. This part of southern Kenya, though, has had some late rain, which is fantastic news. And usually, apparently, the rainy season at this time of year usually ends around May. So what are we? We're just in the beginning of June, so it's just a little bit late. The rains were a bit late in on Juma as well. Hello, Buffalo. H. Macy, you would like to know what is my favorite part of the Mara so far? Sure. Um, I, let's talk about areas first. Um, my favorite area so far I think has been around the Mara River, around the Talek River system and around the Sand River. There's still strange sounds coming. Sorry, that's, that's me making strange sounds to try and hear better. I think it might just be the wind howling actually. It sounds like something's dying. I'm going to go and get a bit closer to where that noise is coming from just to figure it out. Apparently the weather is also tricky and Juma and the wind is howling. 